the same month of September, we had around 37 to 38 lakh investors or traders trading in options market because there is a, a lot of theory in everyone's mind, a lot of news has come in that a lot of people trade in derivatives or options specifically. So around 38 lakh people traded at least once in a month. And here it is not buying house analogy. It's like buying vegetables. They expire, right? So you have to go and buy more often. So that's why the same person has to trade more often. If I take the definition of a retail investor, because we are all worried about retail investors, our job is to protect retail investors. Out of 38 lakh people, 16.5 lakh people traded more, less than 1 lakh rupees of premium. That doesn't mean all of them lost money, no. I'm just saying they traded in a month less than 1 lakh rupees of premium. So almost 43% were very, very basically uh, people who were trading less than 1 lakh rupees per month. And how much did they account for, you know? Total 4,450 crore rupees of premium in a month on a total premium traded of 12 lakh crore rupees, which is around 0.3%. So the entire perception we have probably, I am also guilty of that because I keep on advising even on Diwali day investors not to buy in the morning and sell in the evening. That is called trading, not investment. But nobody wants to listen to that. But when I say don't trade in options, everyone tells me that this is what you are doing wrong. So I'm just giving you the statistics that they accounted for. All those 16 lakh traders who are supposed to be small traded totally 0.3% of the total traded volume of options premium, that is 12 lakh crore rupees for that month. And another statistic that 12 lakh crore rupees of month of premium traded is almost same as the equity traded in the same month. So again, the perception has been created that there is unbelievable and tremendous amount of trading that goes on in options is somewhere we want to believe that. That's why we are believing. So I'm giving you the statistics. We will continue to publish the statistics. Most of us don't want to read statistics. We want to believe in our beliefs. So sometimes our beliefs will change. But good thing is that the retail investors, that is people who invest in long term, have now become a very large force in Indian capital markets. They have invested 28 lakh crore from January 2020 to December 2022. 28 lakh crore directly into Indian capital markets using NSC platform. 28 lakh crore rupees, mark these words, because it is larger than all the FI, FPI money came in during that period. And it is also larger than all the DII money come in that period. All mutual funds you had, all insurance you had, all everything which we call DII. If you add this, I think DII has added some 22 lakh crore. Equities market, retail investors directly investing added 28 lakh crore. Today, from that day, they were investing around, I mean, they were owning 16.7% of Indian capital markets. Today, they account for 19.5%. They've actually increased, madam, their stake. That retail guy who we think is not that great is the larger fund manager. So for me, mutual funds are direct investment is